Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and welcome back to some more Hearthstone, continuing our journey. Let's go back here actually, to look at our quest log. Continuing our journey, to finish up these quests here involving the Warlock. We need three more wins with the Warlock and to have fun while we do it, we are going to be running the Death Rattle deck. So let's hop into here, hopefully try and get our three uh, ranked wins with the Warlock here so we can, uh, oh, get some gold. I've got 345, which isn't a ton, but that's more than enough for two arena runs. And by the time the quest is done, I think I would be... 60... Yeah, I'd have enough for three arena runs, wouldn't I? Yeah. Uh-oh. Gul'dan versus Gul'dan. I bet you, I bet you he's running zoo. I'll bet you he's running zoo. Let's see here. These are decent, uh, decent starts. Not amazing, though. Uh... We can drop the power overwhelming. Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna roll with this hand. You know, it's all one and two mana. We'll roll with it. We'll see what we get. And yeah. I bet you old Dark Bell here is gonna be the most unoriginal prick in the world and run zoo. What's taking you so long to pick? You're not sure if all your minions have one mana or what? What is possibly taking this person so long? The alt tab to make a grilled cheese? I don't... I don't know. But I gotta say, I'm getting kinda tired of waiting. Ah! Now his hand's finally moving. Yeah, I don't think... I think he's AFK. Alright! So, we got nothing we can do turn one. I like this fancy new blue card back, though. It's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, what's he gonna coin into? What, you got a couple, couple flame imps? Oh, he's got the murlocs! Anything but the murlocs! And a wisp. Yep, yep, we're facing a zoo. Yep, we're facing zoo. <sighs> That's gonna be fun, but that Death Lord is going to neuter zoo pretty damn well, I think. So, let's throw out our haunted creeper. Next turn, when the Death Lord comes out, bye bye to all your zoo freaking minion people. You're gonna silence it with that. I hate zoo so much. I hate it, but you know what? It's okay, because I'm about to clear off everybody this turn. With a boy! With a boy, Death Lord! And this is where we this is where we intimidate them by saying sorry. Because that Death Lord neuters. The reason I use Death Lord actually in my warrior deck. Well, a control warrior is pretty damn good at kind of controlling everything. But it's especially good against people like this, like the Run Zoo. Like, if you have a Death Lord in there, it is so ridiculously amazing. He had to clear off, like, most of his board, and now he's only got these creatures left. I mean, I think everyone can see the value there. That's to be a friendly creature, yeah. Power overwhelming has to be a friendly creature. It'd be kind of overpowered if power you can give power overwhelming to an enemy minion. You can just buff them up for one turn, then kill them. It basically is a one mana you kill them card. Ah, oh, thank you. Give me a card. Yes, yes, this is right. Yes. Ah, uh, thank you. He's not gonna be real happy next turn. We realize I have a sludge belcher. On the bright side, this deck does have quite a bit of taunt, which is pretty good. I like the fact that this deck has Taunt. I've also got the Power Overwhelming and the Ruby and Egg combination right now. Which is also pretty damn good. Do I have to? Do I, have to? I love the Blood Imp. See, I used to play Warlock back before people started running Zoo. And it was fun, because I would use the Blood Imp and be like, Do I have to? And then when you attack with the Flame Imp, he's like, Is this really necessary? It was great. It was great. Um, now, here's questions here. Questions, questions. Do I Karen Bloodhoof and use my entire turn on getting Karen Bloodhoof out? Or do I Nerubian Egg and Haunted Creeper and draw a card? Yeah, I think we do, because next turn I can Karen Bloodhoof and Power Overwhelming my Egg. So... 
And we get a dancing sword. So I'm not gonna attack for now. I'm gonna make him waste uh, his void walker by having to attack me this turn. Is my idea. I could have attacked his void walker. Wasn't kind of silly though, because what killed off my guy? Then this turn, his void walker could attack my face. Well, I guess it wouldn't have mattered because he can do that. But either way, it saved me a point of damage, whichever way you look at it. So, stone tusk boar. <laughs> this is like a poor man's zoo deck. <laughs> All right, a boy Karen, and our boy power overwhelming. That's right. That's right. Uh, let's get you. Get rid of that. Let's get you to get rid of you. And we'll end off our turn there. And now here goes that. Well, I mean, I wish I could have used that in combination with a Void Terror, but right now, you know, when you're facing a Zoo deck like this, which is all about just rushing you down as fast as humanly possible. You need to kind of counter that by making plays that, you know, help you out quickly. So he's going to corrupt that card, huh? All right, then. I'm okay with that. Is someone called the Doctor? Is someone called the Doctor? <laughs> I love the Murloc, though. I, it, it, is a good, it is a cool card. All right. Kill Tazad. Nah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I like everything about this. So, uh, for starters, let's run you into you. And let's run you into you. That's right. And I only need to run you into you. I'm just going to right for your ugly mouth. All right. Because of my ability, my spider gets to come back. Oh, it doesn't count. I thought I thought with Keltazod out, the Nerubian would come back. Aww. Well, it's actually kind of funny, though, because I can kill off that Sludge Belcher with Karen. Pretty easy. Well, Karen and my Spectrals. Um, let's get let's get some Taunt on the board. I like the idea of that. Let's run Karen into you. Let's run you into you. Let's run you into you. God, that is annoying. Um, let's Fugin out. I don't even know who he is, really. I'm also loot hoarder up, and I guess I guess I guess we'll just get rid of that, and uh, let's run you into you. Just oh wait, I guess I, I guess I didn't need to do that, but yeah, here comes my spider back because Keltazod's out. So anyone that dies this turn comes back. Yay! As long as Keltazod's out there, my minions can't die, which is pretty funny. He's running Zoo, and he's got no way to finish that unless he has a way to actually kill off Keltazod. He's gonna drain life. Oh, you're gonna kill Karen? Oh no. No, Bane's out. That's the beauty. Karen Bloodhoop is a damn good legendary. Unless you silence it, then he's kind of a kind of a weak one. Ah, you think you think you can just get rid of my minions like Karen? Hey quick as Karen came back! <laughs> Suck it, nerd! I love facing zoo people because they're just so stupidly uncreative. Yay! Alright, that was a quick win. Quick wins, ladies and gentlemen. Quick wins. Quick wins. Let's see what we got here with this next opponent. Rock clobber and spree is what we're doing. What am I now? I think I'm I think I'm a total of three and two when using this Death Rattle deck, which by the way, this Death Rattle deck, there's nothing, there's no real synergy to it besides the fact that just everyone in the deck has Death Rattle. <laughs> That's all this deck is. Rexar the Hunter, the half ogre, half uh, orc. I looked up the lore on him because I used to play him a lot, so I know a little bit about him. Um, I don't need these guys. I like the Ruby and Egg. That's a good early play. Uh, loot Hoarder, Haunted Creeper, and an Undertaker. Alright, so Undertaker would be a good turn one. Then, you know, he'll continue to get stronger unless he gets him off the board. But, uh, being a Hunter, they, uh, usually can. They usually can, uh, get me off the board pretty quickly. Because, usually Hunters, not all, but most Hunters kind of, uh, they just have a bunch of beasts, like little, little beasts, like, you know, Stone Tusk Boars or, um... Bloodbent Raptors, Ironford Grizzlies are paying the ass, Annual Companions, a great card. Um, there's a lot of stuff they can do. Uh, we'll Undertake her right now. 
I could have coined, but I don't really see a, a need in coining right now. I'll, I'll save the coin for when it's a bit more convenient. Because coining into a ruby neck is kind of silly when you already have the Undertaker out there. You know, it's good to get the Undertaker out. You guys will know the Undertaker. His ability is he gets plus one, plus one every time I summon a mini with Death Rattle. But it doesn't matter because he uh, traded off the Leopard Gnome for him. All right, so let's get our boy in the ruby neck out. I'm wondering if this hunter is a newbie noob or an actual good... Because sometimes, you you know, good players, they'll, they'll just use a default card back. Because they just like the original card back, you know. Well, that... Oh wow, he's already taking me down seven damage. I'm not a big fan of this uh, of this uh, rushing. You're kind of you're kind of hurrying me, sir. Let's let's dancing swords. That's quite a bit of strength to have on the board right now. Which I could use that to get rid of that wolf, or I could use it to attack his face and kind of intimidate him a little bit. I don't know. He is rushing me down right now, and there's really nothing in this deck that heals up the warlock, so that's kind of scary. Animal Companion, who's he going to get? Not Misha, not Misha, not Misha. He got me! He got Misha. <laughs> Can you guys feel the love tonight? Well, that, we're going to do that. Then we're going to coin. We're gonna haunt a creeper, and we're going to loot hoarder, which is gonna buff up. Which is gonna buff up our boy here. There we go, buff him up a bit. We gotta get rid of that damn thing. Man, he can put. He had one three chance of getting Misha. He got Misha, which is what thirty three point three 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 percent chance he got that, and he got Misha. The one card that screwed me right there. Ah man. And I have really no way of getting... Like, I'm losing too much health right now. I'm losing way too much. Then again, I'm not, I mean, there's nothing I can do at this point, but... Unstable Ghoul. That will help. That will help. He has to attack the Unstable Ghoul, which I love that fact. But, um... Let's run the Loot Hoarder into you. Just because I, uh, I want a card, which is going to give me my power overwhelming. Which is great. That worked out so well. And now, sir, it is time for you to start taking some damage. Even though I'm really, my, I'm not very optimistic about this match because, yeah, you know, I'm a 12 health, <laughs> and it's turn five. Well, turn six for him. Turn five for me. But I guess technically it's turn six then, huh? Wolf Charger. Well, that's just gonna kill you. Let me guess, Misha? Alright, you got that piece of shit. Yay, that's the worst one I honestly think out of it. This one is, uh, I forget the name of him, Leok. And his ability is give all other friendly minions plus one attack. But he's he just not useful in a lot of situations like you would think he would be. So, I'm glad he went down. Oh, here comes an attack to the mouth. Yeah, I'm going to have to do some crazy quick attacking if I'm going to uh, be able to take him out. But a Death Lord is going to help out with that quite a bit. Definitely quite a bit. Um, I could Void Terror, but the thing about Void Terror, it just doesn't help me right now. It doesn't. I, I'd rather have these minions on the board right now doing attacks. Oh, man. And we're just going to catch him up. He can beat me in five turns minimum. Oh, because he got King Crush? Kill Command? That'll do five damage to me. Oh, okay. Oh, he's got two Kill Commands. Okay. Oh, he just rushed me down far too quick there. Could have been a good match. Or it was a good match, I guess, because I was catching up to him pretty quick. But he's... I didn't have an answer for that uh, Wolf Charger Rider thing right at the very beginning. And because I didn't have an answer for that 3-1 card, uh, <laughs> it really kind of screwed me. Let's see if we can get one more win here before we end off this episode. Yeah. He's kind of screwed me right there. But I'm not even mad about it. Like, he didn't do anything douchey, just I didn't have any answers. Oh, not a mage. <laughs> no. I hate everything about mages. Uh, let's drop the Baron. I'm going to keep the Death Lord. Not ideal. Okay. Oh, I have the coin. Okay, I do have a turn one. Okay, I was going to say. This is not ideal because I don't have a turn one play. But I do. And it's our boy, the Nerubian. 
I like to get my boy and the Rubin out as fast as possible. The next turn we can get out the... Uh, I guess technically I maybe should have went with the Creeper first because the Creeper can do damage and then put out the Nerubian next turn. I guess that would have made more sense. Alright, he's got a Golden Mirror image, which does not speak very well for the, for this guy. Kind of shows that he plays the mage a lot. Mages, mages, mages. Nothing but spells and taunts. Oh, well, we got our boy, the Death Lord. Now we can slowly try and whittle down these damn things. I think that's the card back you get for completing all of the heroics. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. I think that's the card back you get for completing all of the Noxramus, Noxramus uh, heroic challenges. So... You know what sucks is I can power overwhelming right now, but it doesn't—it doesn't make sense. Oh wait, it does. It does make sense. All right, hold on here. No shit! Fuck! Damn it! That was a misplay. I am not very happy about that at all. Well, Blood's Harvest Golem. Shit! I could clear them off. And I could power overwhelming and then weakened up that. Um, we weakened up the Frost Elemental, which is this card. Or Water Elemental, but... I mean, nothing I can do about it now. Shit. I could weaken him. I wouldn't even be able to kill him. What's he gonna get? What's he gonna get? Uh, you see, the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Not that bad. Not that bad of a trade-off, I thought. I'm not gonna use the Power Overwhelming this turn, even though I could. God, motherfucking Mirror Images. I hate mages. So stupidly unbalanced. Uh, Death Lord. Well, we're gonna sludge belch here for now. And make it so you know he's gonna have to do some attacking. Let's not make a misplay and actually attack the things that need to be attacked here. <laughs> uh, man, next turn I can get out the Baron. Oh, if I can get out the Baron with the Nerubian Egg, I could get two Nerubians out. Oh, that could be great. That could be great. And that'll happen regardless, because I don't think he's going to kill off my egg. I think right now he's going to use his two minions to kill off uh, the Sludge Belcher. And he's not going to be able to kill out kill off the Sludge that comes from the Sludge Belcher, which is also going to have Taunt. So, I hope he's going to polymorph it. Because I'm a mage, and I can just do stuff like that. <sighs> what are you doing math? You're going to attack or you're going to sit there and continue to hover over stuff? <laughs> Look at this guy! He doesn't know what he wants to do! <laughs> Ah, uh, alright, sir. Time for our boy, the Baron. And it's also time for this guy here to get buffed. Alright, so first and foremost, well, actually, I'll save the sheep. Let's... Hmm. Well, I gotta kill it, so let's run you into you. And let's run you into you. Get rid of your ugly face. And now, let's run you into you, and let's run you into you. All right. No shit! I missed out on my two Nerubians. I hate everything about my life. <laughs> oh, look at me! I'm a mage. Here's my spell. It clears most of your board because mages are balanced. Yay, mages! I seriously hate them. They're so unbalanced. It's ridiculous how unbalanced. Um. Let's run you, let's run you, and let's run you. <laughs> Nothing I can do because I'm frozen because mages. I think this guy's kind of uncomfortable with how fast I'm playing. It takes me like two seconds to make my turn, then he's like, um, and he's got like hover over every card, like read every single little thing, and oh, I hate him, hate him, hate him, hate him. 
Shove Jaina Proudmore with your humming. Look at him. It takes him so long to make a decision. Yes, yes, do that. Do that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I got two I got two of these guys because the Baron's still out, and I got to draw two cards from my uh what you call it, because the Baron's out. Thank you, Baron. For the Crusade! For the Crusade! Come on, Scarlet Crusader! You're gonna frost bolt down the Baron. A one one creature. Alright. 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 Keltazod. Anyone that I have that dies this turn comes back, which is great. Which I guess I did that in completely the wrong order, but whatever. And they all come back. <laughs> Keltazod. Keltazod OP, but very, very susceptible to a polymorph. Oh, a Sunwalker, eh? And a Secret, eh? That's all I got, eh? A Sunwalker and a Secret, eh? Well, I've got a Dancing Sword, see? Also got this, because there's nothing I really want out of this. Alright, we'll post the lag. Let's pop you. And let's do some damage. And let's get rid of you. And secrets when a minion dies, put two copies of it into your hands, son of a bitch. That's annoying. Um, and let's Leper Gnome. I guess I should have Leper Gnome before. That could do some real damage. Here, come back, my minions. Come back, I say. <laughs> oh. A big scary 4-4, but that does give him plus one spell damage, so right now a flame strike could be scary. Actually, a flame strike would completely clear my board, but he doesn't have that right now. Ah, oh, trying to weaken up old Keltazad, are you? He's trying to weaken me, I see. Well, let's run you and... Ah, uh, you know what? We're gonna run you and you. No, 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 no. I need to run you into you. Yes, I need to make sure I use him because he's going to continue He's gonna continue to come back. I mean, he does, but two copies of it. He's going to continue to come back, and every time he comes back, it's going to do two damage. Every time the, what's his name, dies, it does two damage to him. Um, what do I want to do now? I could Undertaker. I really don't want to overplay my hand right now because we're one flame strike away from crying. So we're just going to, we're going to smash him face, and we're also going to draw a card. Is all we're really going to do right now. Actually, we're going to Sludge Belcher as well. Because those are a pain in the ass. Sludge Belchers are indeed a pain in the ass. And now we got our Leper Gnome back. And mind you, every time that Leper Gnome dies, there's two damage to the enemy hero. And if Keltazod keep continuously bringing him back, <laughs> you know, that could be a pain in the ass. Does this guy not have Flame Strike? Like, if he were just simply use, maybe he hasn't drawn it or something, but one Flame Strike. Literally, my entire board goes away except for the Sludge Vulture. Like Someday I'll be just like you! I hate them, you stupid little gnome. Ah, freeze a minion and the minions to it, and they'll do damage to all of them or something. It did, so it did something to that effect. And I got boy than the Ruby and Egg. Well, I think that's just about GG. And that's GG. I beat a mage. One flame strike is all that person needed too. I wonder if he just didn't have it unlocked, if he wasn't drawing it, or if he's silly and don't have, doesn't have it in his deck. I don't know. I don't know. Flame strike could have destroyed me and made me lose that game. Like one card could have beaten me that game. But, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, we are one win away from actually completing. Our requests and completing our little mini series here with the Death Row deck, and stay tuned for next episode where hopefully we get our one win and finish that off and get what is it, 120 gold? 120 gold. Hopefully we get that next episode. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and if you did, please be sure to leave a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.